Hey guys, y'all come on in here, take a look what I done went and done. Man, this thing's gonna be great. Well, there's another piece of the puzzle done. I mean, we keep getting the pieces in place. Eventually, we're gonna have the whole picture. Man, this thing's getting close to laying down some number 11s on the back rows. Yep. Welcome back to Rat Rod Bob's School of Rat Rodology, a little shop where dreams come true. Man, this thing come a long way, some pieces and piles out in the yard, didn't it? I told you. We're gonna put what we had together and fill in the blanks. So we got a lot of blanks filled in, still got more to go, but hey, we're getting there. We just ain't got it yet. So me and Don got together and done a little hustle in the hot weather and built a grill. So hey, come check it out. We're gonna build a radiator grill out of number nine wire, probably. But first, first thing you gotta do is straighten it out. And uh, I used to do it the old way, you know, try to do it with a pair of pliers, straighten it out best you can, get it on something flat with a hammer. And... But hey, there's a much easier way. I'm gonna show you right now. Take the end of it, flatten it out a little bit. on both ends. Kind of straighten it out a little bit there. Clamp one end in the vise, that flat end. That's the reason you flatten it, so it won't slip in the vise. Take a drill, you got the other flat end. Chuck it up in the drill and let her rip. See how straight that is? Of course, I had a couple kinks there. I could have got them kinks out and it'd been straight all the way. But look how straight that is. And it's got some twisties in it. A little twisty there which could be good, could be bad. I got some small stainless steel wire here. It's really small. So what I might have to do is uh, kind of fold it over maybe a couple times. See if I can get it chucked up in that drill where it won't slip. Maybe fold the other end over put it in the vise. Straighten that right out. I also got some electric fence wire, which is basically just tie wire with a galvanized coating on it. Probably had to bend it, double up on the end of it too, so it'd fit in, in the drill without slipping. Get it on the vise. Bend it up a little bit more <laughs> so we see if it works. Ooh. 
que dá um até... You want to kind of pull tight on the drill too when you're twisting it. Yep, had that little kink there, but hey, hey, you see what's happening? So that's how to straighten the wire out. Right there.
That's what we got so far. Can't hardly tell with that cardboard behind it. Uh, but we're about to fix that. Uh, bits like socks on a rooster. Yeah, that'll work. I think we need some paint on it. A couple more things and then paint. Yeah, paint it and see what it looks like. Hey, Bob, that old aluminum radiator don't look good on a rat rod. You need to paint it black or something. Really? You think so? Probably black, huh? Yeah. So what about now, Red? Yep, that'll work. Man, I wonder how this thing look with them new tires and wheels on it. Let's find out. Today's a good day to mount the tires because the temperature is up to almost 100. So <laughs> we're going to see if we can do this without dying of a heat stroke. But hey, is that some cool looking tires and wheels or what? They're going to really make the rat rod look bad, but we're going to, if we can get them mounted and put them on the rat rod, we're going to see what it looks like. And it's, it's not going to even look good till we get the rat rod painted and, uh, you know, get done. But yeah, we got tires and wheels. We want to mount them up and see what they're gonna look like. I got some blocks in these. Try to spread them out some. Try to get them relaxed a little bit. So hopefully we can get them aired up on those wheels. Uh, it's nine inch slicks, eight and a half inch wheels. So they should work. Got little narrow wheels for the front and more narrow tire, even more narrow. So. Yeah, we're gonna try to do that.
I don't know about you guys, but this is going to be a really cool rat rod, hot rod, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of a, between a rat rod and a hot rod, I guess. Those new tires and wheels, hot rod. <laughs> hey, wait till we get it painted and see how it looks with the new tire and wheel. That's what I'm looking forward to, but hey, that's going to be a while, so stay tuned. I think it's about time to start playing with some paint.
man, this thing is going to be great. So what we're going to do now? Hey guys, stay tuned because who knows what we're going to do next. So what do you think about it, Red? I'm digging it, Bob. So what do you guys think? The yellow? I don't know about you guys, but I like that yellow with the black head tiki. I think it's gonna look cool when we get the whole car done. There's the grill. Got her done. Obviously, the paint is gonna be better when I get done. Do a better job of rubbing the black smooth, make it look cool, more like antiquing. I just got to kind of smear it on there now so I can see if I even gonna like yellow, basically what I'm doing. So what do you guys think? I think the yellow's gonna be fine. I can get a darker yellow. I don't know, that's kind of cool there though. So this is 24 karat rat ride stuff right here. Yep. Especially when you look at it back here, this is really cool. I like it. Matter of fact, I dig it. I really, really dig it. So if you guys don't like that, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> I'm digging it, Bob. Yeah, this patch, just so you know, I don't like that, I'm gonna fix that, so future video, I'll fix that, I don't like it. Rest of it, I dig it though. Hey guys, stay tuned, cause who knows what we're gonna do next. But we're gonna do something cool, guaranteed. Hey guys, y'all leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this rat rod, hot rod, and the yellow paint. I mean, you like the yellow with the black on it? Yes or no? Hey. I'm open for opinions, so let me hear your opinion. Man, that's a lot of work. I'm taking the rest of the week off with pay. Appreciate you. See you next time.